Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and in this video I'm going to give you a tour of my office where I write all of my posts and do all of my videos uh, for Pocketnow.com, and soon a couple of other Pocketnow writers are going to come on and show you their workspace so you can get a behind the scenes view of what goes on when we make videos and write posts for Pocketnow, so let's get to it. so let's take a look. So basically this is the second bedroom in my apartment which I've converted to an office. Pretty simple. So over here on the left and on the right I've got a whiteboard and if I could I would tile my walls with whiteboards because I, there's something just so satisfying about writing something on the wall and ink seems very official. I don't know, huge fan of whiteboards. Anyway, let's continue. I'll talk about my monitor configurations in a second. Behind these monitors I've got over here a Vonage voice over IP router. I was one of the early adopters of voice over IP, I think, just because the economics are really good. So you pay 25 bucks a month, you get unlimited calls to anywhere in the US, and I just find something really satisfying about using a landline. So I connect my landline to this phone, which has a really loud speaker phone. I, uh, I find it to be a lot more comfortable than holding a cell phone in my hand, uh, which I think all of us do for many hours a week anyway. So. It's nice to have that. And of course, Verizon and Comcast, pretty much everyone has their own voice over IP service these days for the same price, but I keep Vonage because it, it works. Over here, I've got a D-Link router, which I had to get so that I could get some very key wires out in the open. So over here, I have um, micro USB, which is standard pretty much for all smartphones now, thank goodness. Uh, over here is mini USB for some of the older devices and for my camcorder. And I've got the iPhone connector down here because I've been using that recently. And somewhere else I've got a charger for my camera down there. You get the point. So let's talk about uh, my computer. I've got two 24 inch monitors on the left. I chose 24 because 30 is too big and I think 22 is too small. Also with these monitors they are Dell I think 2408 FWPs. You get 1920 by 1280 resolution, which is extremely high, and the only way to get higher than that is to go to a 30 inch monitor, and I really enjoy having the resolution because I can fit a lot on the screen at one time. I could fit four browser windows um, from here, 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 and here. It's just, it's very convenient to have. Over here on the right is a portrait monitor, which serves just as a Twitter client. I, I watch Twitter for my personal account, plus a couple of websites, so I need to have Twitter open at all times to see what is going on. Uh, in front of my monitors, I usually have a couple of smartphones that I'm reviewing or I'm playing with or comparing, uh, doing, some, doing some research on. So over here we have the iPhone 3GS, the Google Nexus One, and the iPhone 4. It just so happens I've been comparing these three devices for an upcoming video uh, where we're going to talk about the retina display and how it compares. Pulling out the keyboard, I've got one of these Microsoft Wave keyboards, but not the hardcore Wave where it's split off to the left and the right. It has a gentle curve. I really like the ergonomics of having the curve. And then I've got a Logitech, hmm, I don't know what this is called. It's the VX Revolution Notebook Mouse. And I like the Notebook Mouse. It's smaller in size. It's not huge. Um, and it also has this free scrolling wheel, which I think is really, really handy when you're trying to get through a huge web page or a large PDF or something like that. Coffee. Uh, speakers, Logitech, I don't know the, the model of them, tend to forget these things. And there's the base station for the phone connected to Vonage. Um, and here's what it looks like outside of my window. It looks onto the balcony and they're doing some construction out there. Um, so I pretty much get a view of some trees and the parking lot. All right, let's back out a little bit and talk about this computer. An old computer, not the prettiest thing ever. I built it, I think, in February of 2007. So it's starting to show its age, but it's still kicking quite nice. It is a Core 2 Duo processor. It came stock at 2.6 gigahertz overclocked to three, four gigabytes of RAM. I have a solid state drive running Windows 7 64-bit edition. And beyond that, what else is there is to know? Two graphics cards so that it can handle the three monitors. They're just, I think, NVIDIA 9600 GTs. Um, so nothing terribly fancy, but it, it definitely works for what I need it for. Although when rendering HD video like this one, it slows down my computer big time. So I'm trying to figure out something uh, to get some speed back. Uh, didn't show you here this webcam, nothing, nothing crazy, just a Microsoft webcam. A little bit of artwork, I'm not an art kind of sore, but my mother said I needed more color in the office, so hey, there you go, Ma. Um, down here, I've got a, a broken footstool here, trying to have a good posture whenever possible, since I'm in front of the computer for like a million hours a day. 
have an old Dell laser printer here. This was one of the first Dell laser printers that came in under $100. Now, most, most of them are the consumer range anyway. Previous to that, in the early 2000s, they were like 500, 600 bucks. So laser printing technology for everyone. Yay. Uh, here is the subwoofer for the speakers. It's in the corner of the room, so it works particularly well to produce some really good bass. Um, and then here's my wireless router. It's just the standard Verizon Fios router. I'm hooked up to their fiber optics. Uh, I was really happy to go away from Comcast. I don't like Comcast at all, and I hope they're watching this video so they can hear that. They have really bad customer service. They raise their prices, and I'm really happy to go with Verizon Fios, to be honest. A lot of wires back here. What are you gonna do? No one looks down here except for you right now, right? All right, so let's zoom out a little bit here. This is my chair. This is where I film all my videos. This is the tripod. Put my camera up here, put the phone here, and film away. This is a nice wood-looking material, but it picks up fingerprints a lot, so I'm constantly having to clean it. Kind of annoying. Uh, in the corner of the room here is the fan. It's just a ro rotating fan. It gets really hot in here with the computer producing a lot of heat. And I'm going to show you my bookshelf here. I've got some phones up here that I like to keep on hand for reviewing so I can take them out, do size comparisons for YouTube or, or if I'm doing a, a written review. Over here I've got the Kin, been messing around with that. Not big fan of the Kin. I don't know if it's on. Let's see if it's on. It's not. It's, the interface is slow and, well, this is not a video about the Kin. I've got a uh, one terabyte external hard drive for backing up. Old CDRs, which I don't use anymore. You know, you buy stacks of like 200 and you don't use them unless it's 1999 when you're burning mixed CDs for your friends. Um, so I've got some books here, mostly business books, a couple of uh, fiction books. I was a business student, so I like to read business books. Down here, these phones aren't real. They are dummy units. So don't think that I have all of these phones just sitting here kind of uh, thrown about. Um, they are dummy units that don't work and they're handy for use when I do some reviews and compare these devices to others. This is a really cool device, by the way, something I never actually played with in real life. It's the E72 Nokia. Um, nice keyboard, very, very thin. Probably one of the best messaging devices ever. Let's see what else is in here. This is the old, uh, this is the old Acer Neo Touch. This is one of the first Windows mobile phones. I think it was the first. Uh, that had the Snapdragon CPU. Have some compressed air back there to keep phones clean before I put them on video, spray the dust away from them. Um, let's uh, see what else we have here. This is the camera that I use for all of my reviews. It's really old, but it does an awesome job at taking close-ups, so that's why I use it. I also like the, uh, the swivel lens, which helps a lot to get really good camera angles. I probably shouldn't hold it by the swivel lens. And because this is huge and unsightly, I can't carry this around on a trip. So I have this little Sony uh, that is nice and compact and slightly better looking than the other camera. Packaging tape, you get the point down here. This is a t-shirt that I use to clean off devices before I put them on camera, it's just a soft cotton shirt. Um, this is the best game on the planet that everyone in the world should own. It's called Catchphrase. It is, uh, well, look it up online and you'll see why. It's, it's fun, great for when you have people over. Not an advertisement for catchphrase. And then down here, some accounting stuff, charger for the Kindle, and here is just a closet with a mess of different things. Lots of wires and things that I really don't have a place for. I'm glad that there are doors on this closet so people don't get to see this mess, but you're looking at it right now. It's old speaker system. I think this is Cambridge Soundworks down here. Um, pretty, pretty, good for entertaining. I don't think Cambridge Soundworks is around anymore. And a uh, laptop bag or two. One of them started to rip, so I got a new one. I guess I should throw away the one that's ripped, shouldn't I? But anyway, so that is a look at what's inside my closet. That's a look at what I've got going on here in my office, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for more of these videos from other Pocket Now writers. That's it for now.